absolutely not. Hi, you guys. Hey, y'all, and welcome. No, I cannot get my intro together. I don't know what to say because I sound so annoying. Welcome back to my channel. I don't, I don't like it. Fuck the intro. I don't know what to say today, but y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time. I haven't filmed in almost over a month. My uploading schedule has been a little bit off due to the fact that I was on set, I was in school, and then my last video that I posted, that was a super long video that it took me literally two weeks to edit. But I'm back and I miss you guys so much, and that is why it's for today's video. We're going to be getting vulnerable while we're painting a pumpkin drop me some comments let me know how y'all been doing like what y'all been doing i know i look like a bald head chicken don't tell me no nails no wig no lashes no brows done nothing i'm literally bare face chicken today and i'm gonna be bare face chicken for the next couple of days because i go out of town if you didn't watch my last video that i did i was talking about why my life sucked it was like a q a life update and i was painting a picture and that picture turned out terrible but i feel like painting a pumpkin it should be way easier it's a little dirty with whatever this is on the side but we can ready to clean her up so that's okay i just gotta find something to clean her up with <sighs> this may be a little ghetto but i'm gonna use my shirt Okay, it's not working. I don't even know what this is. There she go. I got this pumpkin from Giant. I really wanted a smaller one, but they only had this big ass pumpkin. And any other time I go to that Giant, they always have the little ones, but no, they only have big ones for it, whatever day it is for today. I got three colors. I have this acrylic pink color in the color watermelon. I also have it in black. And last but not least, I have it in the color, like, light pink. So before we get started, y'all know I gotta always give y'all a reference picture of the look that I'm going for. And it's super ironic that I went into Target to get paint, and I saw that it was a painted pumpkin, and it was really, really cute. It was a little cheetah print one. I have it on the screen. So yes, we're going to be remaking that pumpkin. Hopefully, this goes well. Y'all know I can't paint. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just get started. I'm gonna just give you all some background information for those who may or may not know why I was gone for a little while. It wasn't even like a long time for real, but it was semi long. If you didn't watch my last video, which you should, cause that was a banger. So I'm set a hundred K period. Oh, let me just run it back. My mind is everywhere right now y'all. So please forgive me. Your girl is 400 M F and K subscribers on the Tubi. Let's give a round of applause for all of y'all for sticking with a shawty through thick and thin remain and subscribe keep watching my channel you know the whole mf and nine y'all i am so grateful for every last one of y'all and if i don't say it enough please know that i really do appreciate the love and support that y'all give me i could not have gotten 400k without you guys best believe when i say that this is really coming from the heart. This means so much to me. My YouTube channel, my platform, and I love what I do. I put my best foot forward all the time, Well, I try to at least, and it makes me happy. You know, you gotta do things that make you happy. So if you didn't watch my last video, I mentioned that I was gonna be gone basically like the whole month of October, which I basically was, because I was shooting an upcoming movie that would be coming out very, very soon, hopefully. But I was in a movie and I had to shoot it and I honestly had the time of my life when I shot that movie. So I was on set almost every single day for a couple of weeks, so I wasn't able to film content or even edit content. We just wrapped, which means like we just finished shooting like two days ago. So filming is that over with and it's so bittersweet. That reminds me, I do a photo dump today. I'm gonna do it at four o'clock. I'm sad that it's over, but it's okay because it's gonna be many more sets that I gotta go on. This was the first to come. I'm just blessed and grateful that I had the opportunity to even be in something big like this. So whenever it comes out, yes, you guys will be able to watch it. So make sure y'all Support your girl. If you're not following the Grammy Gram, go follow my Instagram at Princess Tommy. So you can see like all my behind the scenes footage and when the movie comes out and whatnot. I'll also keep y'all updated on here for updates about it in case you don't have Instagram or something like that. So that's why I was gone. I was filming a movie that I was in. I had a supporting role. And I really wish I would've did like a vlog of that. They told me I could after the fact, but I should've asked before. Cause that would've been a dope experience to like capture and everything. But so now let's go ahead and get vulnerable. 
let's talk about some real shit over here. Also, y'all, I didn't show y'all my new tattoo, so I'm gonna show y'all now. Like, a lot has, ooh. <gasps> but y'all, like, a lot has happened since I've been gone. This is my new tattoo. Of course, it's Pooty. If you didn't see it on my Instagram, I'll answer the picture, but that's a conversation for another day. Someone asked me, do I smoke? And the answer to that question is no, I do not. I don't smoke. And I'm sure they're talking about, like, you know, Margina, marijuana. And no, I do not smoke because that just that's not something I like to do and it's not for me. And I'm not gonna sit up here and lie and say I haven't because I'm sure like you you always gotta try something to see if you like it or not. I don't like the way it makes me feel and I don't like the way it can have effect on certain people on certain people, especially females. It's a lot of females out here like that smoke daily. They can't, you know, eat without smoking, they can't sleep without smoking and like you can see it all in their face, their body, their lips. And like, yeah, it's just, you know, if you smoke, you smoke. I'm not judging, but I just personally feel like it's a bit much for a lady, at least. You can do it, but there's some people who like literally cannot live without smoking. And I just feel like that is a bit much. Yeah, I don't judge if you smoke, you smoke. That's your business. Marijuana, because I don't want to get, you know explicit on here but marijuana it is an herb it definitely is a herb and it is prescribed by holistic doctors for a lot of medical conditions for certain people so yeah i have nothing against it i just personally do not like to do it this is way easier than painting a canvas i think i like this more have you ever had a sneaky link <laughs> well you can be my sneaky link yes i've had a sneaky link before not recently but i've had a sneaky link before back in my days i guess you can say well <sighs> First of all, I don't want it to be like a sneaky link like I was cheating on somebody. Even though I, I have cheated on somebody because they cheated on me first and like you're not going to cheat on me and think I'm not cheating on you back. Like that's just not how shit works. But this is like a long time ago. I don't think like that anymore, okay? Like it wasn't, it wasn't really given like you no, know, no link link for real. Like when people think sneaky link, they think like you know somebody you mess with on the low. Like y'all be you know doing what it do. Yeah, it never gave that. But I did have somebody like that I was talking to who it was nobody business that I was talking to. That's childish now to have stinky links. Well, I mean, I guess like if you don't got no boyfriend, like you could do whatever you want. And like, I feel like if I didn't have a boyfriend, a girl got away her options. And when your options does not mean you letting everybody come to your crib, you letting everybody see the goods, you just trying to figure out what you want in a person and what you like and who made the cut and whatnot. I can't get to the bottom of my pumpkin because I don't want to mirror but it's basically all coated are you on birth control yes i am on birth control i've been on birth control since like early on in my high school years and i've been on birth control because i'm one of them people that had a very 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 bad period like i'm talking like i'm throwing up my nose bleed at the same time while i'm bleeding like it was bad you guys like it was really really bad and you know some people have really bad periods like that and doctors literally be like you should get on birth control because it helps that and i agree it definitely did help me a lot but i feel like as i'm getting older like i don't want to be on it anymore because i don't like the way it makes me feel feel i guess i should say and now that i'm learning myself because i don't take any medication that's the only medication that i take and i don't like even taking it and that's another reason why i really want to get off of it because it's like i don't want to put things in my body like at the time i didn't know any better but now i do and i don't want to do it anymore and just because someone said they on birth control you guys that is not me that they are having even protected sex or unprotected sex. They could be a virgin and be on birth control. But I want those out there to know that even if you are on birth control and you're having unprotected sex, it does not protect you from STDs, STIs. And then don't think you also can get pregnant because it's not common, but it can happen. So don't be that person. After doing more research, there's a lot of people who have a lot of bad reviews like on birth control and i personally never have had a bad experience except for when one time I, they changed it and it was terrible every time i took it it made me sick to my stomach like i literally felt like i wanted to die for anybody out there that's trying to discuss had that conversation like with their mom or whatever i definitely recommend just being honest because you don't want to wait until it's too late like if you want to be on birth control because you're you're having intercourse or whatever you know be honest like i know some parents out there are crazy but i'm pretty sure like or they should at least rather you protect yourself 
than for you to come home and saying you're pregnant. Like, you know, you're letting them know that this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm ready to do at least. You know, as a female, you gotta be ready to have these uncomfortable conversations. As I'm getting older, I kind of like censored myself with my content a little bit because I do have a lot of young viewers, which I understand, but I feel like if you don't tell them who will because a lot of people they look up to me they come to me for answers or whatever so i try to be as transparent as possible i just like to be honest with people i like to tell people the truth because you don't want to steer somebody in the wrong direction and have them go look elsewhere for clues and hints and answers when you can just be honest and talk about your personal experience and how things went for you so the pumpkin is coated in the watermelon color now we're about to go ahead and i guess like let it dry for a little bit because this side's a little bit wet so we're gonna let it dry for probably like five minutes and then we're gonna start the cheetah print dot 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 how do you feel about people losing their virginity early losing your virginity is a very sensitive topic because i feel like you know everyone's entitled to their own opinions i just feel like whenever you feel like you're ready that's when you will do it nobody can tell you when or when not to do something that is completely up to you but never ever let someone pressure you into doing something you do not want to do any guy any girl do not let somebody force you to do something you don't want to do no means no with all due respect you can tell a motherfucker no like nigga no i do not want to have sex with you i do not want to do nothing with you no and if they can't respect you and your decision then that person is not right for you it's just an experience and you just learn you learn yourself you learn what you like and what you don't like to answer the question i don't feel any kind of way about anyone who loses their virginity early because i know people who have been there i know people who have done that so that is not my place to judge someone because they lost theirs before me or even after me that is completely up to that person i feel like when you make mistakes early on in life you don't make them later on prime example myself i've made a lot of mistakes early on in my life that i'm not going to do now a lot of things people are doing now i've already done it so i don't have to do it prime example like everybody want to go to parties every day and every week like that is not my style that's not what i do because i did that literally five years ago when i was 14 but i do want to go to one i do want to go but i used to be partying every week i'm talking about dad he took to this party he used to be like bro like party 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 that's all i did when i was younger so yeah i mean like if you want to lose your virginity late early that's up to you but i definitely recommend protect yourself and get tested that's all i gotta say about that which brings me to another topic that someone asked me about like std testing is it embarrassing like should i feel comfortable telling my partner you know stuff like that i don't care if you've been with somebody for five damn years six damn years 10 years 12 years every year you should get tested because just because you're being loyal to them does not necessarily mean they're being loyal to you and this is not to scare anybody but it's the truth you could be dating someone and only be intimate with them but they could not be intimate with you and they could pass something on to you that they got from someone else a lot of people feel like it's embarrassing to get tested when literally that is your health health is well if something is going on down there that is not right it's going to throw your whole entire body off and you are not going to feel okay and some stds like you know hiv aids those are terminal so you should definitely definitely protect yourself and get tested so even if you not have intercourse there's orally transmitted diseases as well okay so i feel like we've been going a little bit too deep too soon so let's switch the conversation a little bit why do you barely wear your real hair i heard frontals aren't good on your edges a couple reasons first reason because it's my hair second reason because it's what i want to do third reason is because i don't like to wear my real hair like i'm currently wearing my real hair right now not by choice it was because i was on set and i had to you know look younger and with my wigs and stuff i don't look as young as i do frontals are not good on your edges and they can break your edges off but it definitely depends on who you're going to i was going to this one girl at a time and like i would notice my edges thinning and it was the way she put my front was on but like once i switched styluses and stuff like that like it didn't happen again so you have to go to somebody who knows what they're doing and not one of them instagram certified people and i'm not even trying to shade nobody that's certified and what they do but a lot of certified people shouldn't even be certified like all right so then we're gonna go ahead and start doing these cheetah print dot which i'm a little nervous about because i don't know how the hell i'm about to do this or should i do the pink first like the circles first and then outline yeah i'm gonna do that also wear wigs frontal wigs to be exact your hair has to be cornrowed 
And when my hair is cornrowed, my hair grows. But I'm thinking about doing like a chop on my hair, y'all. I'm thinking about chopping my hair off. Not all the way off, but like low. Because I have heat damage. And like my heat damage, it feel like it's getting worse. And I know why it's getting worse because I keep adding heat to my hair. I'm about to just start over. It's not really, really bad, but I'm definitely going to have to chop off a few inches of my hair. I do want to start wearing my hair out more like when it's curly, even though that is a hassle to do, but I do want to do it. So I'm thinking about chopping my hair off a couple inches. Just letting it grow. I'm still wearing my wigs and stuff because that's how my hair grew in the first place. One thing that I don't know about that is how is my hair going to dry? I mean, when it's time for me to get a wig, how am I supposed to blow dry my hair? That's just something I have to figure out, I guess. Y'all know how old people, they always try to tell you, like, what to do with your hair and what to do with your body. Like, old people just get on my nerves so bad. No offense to anybody that's an old person, but because they think they always right just because they oldest. They always, like, try to give their opinion and no one asks for it. How do you feel about your acting career? The movie that I was just in was my first, like, official real film ever where I had, like, an actual role. I've done some short films just to build my portfolio, but those aren't getting, like, streamed on TV or anything. The film that I just did, the movie, that's going to be on TV. I'm excited for that. And, like, just that whole experience of meeting, like, new people and being on set, learning my lines. I loved it. I loved every single bit of it. I don't think I had that much fun doing a job in a long time. And, you know, I do YouTube or whatever, and I love doing YouTube, too. But it's just something about that that acting that just do it for me more and i was telling my mom this the other day i absolutely loved it and i can't wait for you guys to see it acting is something that i want to take serious i take it serious now what i'm saying is this is something that i would like to do full time i want to do auditions at least five times a week that is something i want to be committed to doing someone also asked this question you know people who drop out of college follow their dreams that doesn't involve school i am currently in a place where i am battling a situation that i cannot figure out the answer to right now i don't think i want to go to school anymore and for those who don't know i'm a sophomore in college and i'm majoring in biology for those who don't know what a biology major is basically you want to be a doctor or like something in the medical field or something that involves science you know stuff like that research blah 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 that is just something I don't want to do. Well, I shouldn't say I don't want to do it, but it's something I don't want to do right now. So if I don't want to do it right now, it's like, why am I stressing myself out every single day? I stress myself out every single day because I'm trying to get good grades. I'm trying to prove a point to people that, you know, I can do it. But at the same time, I got to realize, like, I got to do what's best for me. And that's something I have a problem with. I don't know how to do what's best for me. And this goes back to my acting thing. So y'all know I'm in school. Y'all know I do YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I do not have a life. I literally do not have time for anything else that I want to do. I do not have time to audition as much as I want to do. I do not have time to take classes as much as I want to. Like, school is really hindering me from a lot of experiences. I'm not able to make content as much as I want to because I'm always in school. I go to school every single day. I have five classes. I got a freaking study for like it's a lot and it's it's really too much like it's really too much for a person like people always ask me like how do you do it i don't know i seriously do not know and i don't want to i don't want to do it anymore i don't but i'm really considering like calling it the quits school is something that's not for everyone and school is always going to be there whether you go next year you take a gap year a break like school is always going to be there your dreams and opportunities well, they can go places. Like, if you miss out an opportunity, you never know if you'll have that chance to get it back or not. That's why I try to take on everything I can. And it's one thing if I was virtual, but I'm in person now, so I have to literally go every single day. And that's just something that doesn't make me happy. School does not make me happy. I'm doing well in school in all my other classes except for math. Everyone knows. If you watch my video, you know I'm struggling in math right now still struggling me struggling in math i feel like it's playing a huge factor in my decision on why i don't want to go anymore but i'm actually going to meet with my advisor tomorrow and i want to withdraw from math because i can always take math again and since i'm about to move and if i'm still in school during that time i'm going to transfer anyway i can just transfer and take math with a whole new teacher who i'll probably understand more on if that's what i want to do so i'm going to withdraw from math tomorrow 
because what I'm not going to do is mess up my GPA when I know I don't have to. And I'm failing because I don't understand the teacher. I don't think she likes me for one. And it's one thing to say, oh, I'm going to quit school and do nothing with your life. But y'all know me. One thing about me, I work my ass off. I do so much too much sometimes so i need a break like i literally need a mental break and do things that make me happy acting and youtube those are things that make me happy when i was on set i couldn't be at school because i was on set and my math teacher she gave me a hard time y'all witnessed that i was doing something that i love to do so yeah some people would like to go to school and i wanted to do that because they are so passionate about what they they want to do and a lot of people aren't as fortunate as me to be able to have businesses backup plans that they have no choice but to go to school so the fact that i have an option yeah i'm going to take my option i also have a meeting with an agency next week and if i get this agency it's wraps for school i'm sorry it's wraps because this agency is something so big for me that i cannot slack like i literally have to be on my a game 24 7 if you know me when i'm committed to something i'm committed i give my all god willing fingers crossed that i get this deal with the agency and they like me and they want to work with me that's just my little input on school and how i feel about it currently i don't want to get too off topic with this discussion but yeah like People got to learn how to do what's best for them and do what makes you happy. And I feel like me pursuing my dreams with YouTube and with acting and being an entrepreneur, that is what makes me happy. I'm not making no money by going to school. If anything, I'm losing money. So I really have nothing to lose here. Y'all give me some advice. Let me know what y'all want me to do. Well, not what y'all want me to do, but let me know what y'all think I should do. By the time y'all watch this, I'm already going to be withdrawn from math, so I don't even care about math. But... And it's my last math, so it's not like I'm going to be behind if I want to go back to school or whatever and take math again. But I just feel like I can retake it with somebody else or I can retake it again. It's a given that I'm going to retake it with somebody else because I'm not going to be going to the same school next year because I'm moving. Yeah, I'll just try again. There's nothing wrong with trying again. And that's what I'm going to do. Like my brother told me, she was like, nobody's going to see that you withdraw from a class unless you go to like graduate school and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That doesn't even apply to me. So other thing that is like, I feel like I have a point to prove to people and I feel like I have to go to school because I want to make people happy. Like my family, I know I make them happy now with my career, but I just want to make them even happier by finishing school, I guess. But I don't want them to, you know, think that school was never important to me. Because school is very important to me. And I tell that to people in every interview I do. But school does not make me happy. For some reason, I tend to put it first. And I'm not putting it first for me. I'm putting it first for everyone else. I went a little bit too deep in the conversation. But I hope that answered the question and give y'all some more insight on me but like i said let me know you know what y'all think i should do and whatnot opinions on bbls and would you get one nope she got bbl Ew. so for those who don't know also i'm currently working out in the gym because if you've been watching me for a long time or if you don't know me or whatever i've gotten big not big but i've gotten a little bit thicker than what i used to be i love my shape i love my new weight but in order for your body to stay that way and remain the way you like it you have to be in control of it because you can be this big one day and then big and then big this day the next so i kind of work out two days a week i know it's not often but i'm just fucking school every day so i can't work out as much as i would like to and i'm busy so but i do work out uh, i just came from the gym actually so this is kind of be working with you see it and I also work on my butt to get it a little bit bigger. I feel like do what makes you happy. I have nothing against anybody who had a BBL. Like, I love Jada's BBL. I know she got it. So, don't try to say, how you know she got a BBL? Because I, I know. I would get a BBL. But I also would not. I would get a BBL, like, after kids, though. Because, like, when you have kids, your body just, it changes. And not to sound selfish, but I don't want my body to go through a change because I love how I am. But I know when a time comes where I'm ready to start my family, that is a sacrifice that I'm going to have to make. I would get a BBL if my body is not how I like it. And I'm not saying like I'm going to go straight to BBL. Like, no, I'm going to work 
to get my body back right because I know it's possible. I've seen people do it, but if I still don't like it, if I'm still not comfortable, yes, I would get a BBL. People always try to speak on things they can't afford. If you cannot afford a BBL, do not talk about someone who has one. Sit that one out. So to answer that question, if you want a BBL, Go get the BBL. If you want a tummy tuck, go get that tummy tuck. Do whatever you want. Just be careful because there are a lot of complications that happen with things like that. So be careful. My pumpkin is coming together nice. Do you guys agree? It does look like random polka dots right now because I didn't add the outline of the black. But I'm about to do that right now. How many real friends do you have? I don't know. I classify somebody as a real friend. If I can call on you to do something with me, that means you're a real friend. But if I can't, I do not consider you one of my real friends. Like, if I ever want to go out and do, like, fun things or whatever, the person I call is my boyfriend. <coughs> I do not have any friends that I can call and be like, yeah, girl, let's go out. Let's go to this lounge. Let's go, go to the club, go to a party, you know, anything like that. I do not have no one I can call. I mean, I have my best friend. She's not even in this conversation right now because she has a kid. So that's like a priority to her. So, you know, it's some things that she can't do. So, you know, I'm not even going to hold her to the expectation that she should be able to do things with me. Then my other best friend, she's in New York. I can't do things with her. Then my other boy best friend, he's in Chicago. So, yeah, I can't do things with him either. I feel like the people that I would hang out with like on the weekend, none of them live here. Unfortunately, they are all in different states, so that is kind of impossible. It just is what it is. Like some people you can't do everything with, some people you can't travel with, some people you can't hang out with. That's just how life works. Before I answer any more questions or talk about any more topics, I want to finish some more of my pumpkins. I don't want this video to be too, too long, okay? Okay, okay, now that I pretty much outlined all of my dots, now I'm about to just add a touch of black to the middle of them just to really give that cheetah print look don't mind those dots over there that don't have nothing on them that is because i just did those and i have to freaking add it a lot of you guys wanted me to do like a mental check talk uh, that doesn't even probably make sense mental health check-in i'm in a good space now, for those who don't know my cat recently passed away three months ago i can't believe i'm saying three months ago like it really it was like yesterday when I lost her, but and I finally think that I'm ready for another one. I've always wanted another another cat anyway, but I couldn't get one because my cat was not having that shit. But I'm still on edge. Nothing will ever be able to replace my baby, or no other animal will ever like come before my baby but i know i have love to give to another animal who may need a home but this animal will be like my healing animal having another one can bring some type of comfort Alrighty, i think our pumpkin is smug oops i messed that up i think our pumpkin is done well not i think it is done because i'm done with painting this pumpkin this is how she looks do y'all see it cute right thank you thank you thank you i know i did that don't play with me and that was pretty really fun if you're bored in a house and you want a house board go pick up a pumpkin from your little local grocery store or like home depot or any place like that they have pumpkins like outside or like in the inside i enjoyed it so if you do this let me know that you did it tag me on the grammy gram and let me know you did it hope you all enjoyed today's chat and thank y'all for sticking with me i love you all so very much and i can't wait to see you guys next week for a brand new video bye